Hello everyone. So in this session, we are going to start a new topic, which is product cost by period. So production process have two main scenarios. Uh, one is make to stock, another one is make to order. So let's list down all the process. One is make to stock, and second one is make to order. So in make to stock scenarios what the companies are going to do they are going to produce the goods and store the goods in their warehouses and in the make to order what the companies are going to do they first receive the sale order first and after that they are going to start the production so make to stock have two main sub scenarios one is product cost by order and second one is product cost by period and in the product cost by order what the companies are going to do they are going to track the cost by the order and orders are created as a cost object so let's say these product cost by order have to sub scenarios as well one is production process in the discrete manufacturing and second one is process industry process so what we are going to do in the discrete manufacturing we are going to use production order and in the process industry system is going to create the process orders and for the process industry we are going to use so these two scenarios are a bit same but we are going to create the process order in the process industry and master recipe is created instead of routing which is created in the production process so let's come to the product product cost by period so in product cost by period we are not going to create the product production production order as a cost object instead of production order we are going to use product cost collector as a cost object so all the cost will be collected in the product cost collector level so first we are going to create the product cost collector and at the product cost collector level system is going to collect the cost actual cost plan cost and for the product cost collector we are going to calculate the variances work in progress and after that we are going to do the settlement so product cost by period we are going normally use in the repetitive process industry so let's say we have two main industries uh, first uh, let's say for example we have one beverage industry and in the beverage industry we are going to use the process industry that is a kind of process industry so we are going to have different types of products process for all the different SKUs but in let's say for the sugar industry what this is we are going to produce we are just producing the sh sugar and all the processes for the production of sugar are a bit same and we are going to use the product cost by period so in the product cost by period only for the period level we are going to analyze the cost what what is the actual cost for that period for that SKU and for uh, but in the product cost by order we are going to track the cost for each batch level for each lot size and for each SKU so cost will be allocated for the process called uh, process order and for each process order we are going to check out the variances work in progress but in product cost collector which is used in product cost by period so we are going to analyze the cost actual cost plan cost variances for each product cost collector 
so that is mainly used when the companies are going to track the cost of the one single SKU for the whole period instead of the batch we are going to analyze the cost for the whole period so let's come to the SAP and now we are going to first create the costing variant for the product cost by order uh, product cost by period and let's check out the costing variant so go to SPRO So go to SPRO, SAP reference IMG and go to controlling, product cost controlling, cost object controlling and product cost by period. So check out the product cost collector setting and first we are going to check out the costing variant. So create the costing variant to determine activity prices. So here we have multiple costing variants. Let's say this is ZPCC. And here the system is going to use standard cost. So come back. So this is the one which is created by another user. So this is the standard delivered PPC1. Uh, this is the standard de delivered costing variant used for the product cost by order scenario so when we are going to create the costing variant for the product cost by period so we are not going to use 01 instead of 01 we are going to use 19 which is used for product cost collector and all the other valuation variants will remain same so it's all depend upon the policy of the customers how they are going to value uh, their material so this is the already delivered so I'm going to use the standard one okay check out the valuation variant here so this is the valuation variant how the material valuations will be done so first the system is going to check out the price from the purchasing information and from the purchasing information it will check out the strategy so initially system is going to do uh, use the priority one after that second third and fourth so first of all system is check out the price in the production purchasing information record of that material so this is how system is going to calculate the prices for the materials so go to activity prices so activity prices will be the plan price of all the fiscal year periods so it will system will take out the average and if we have subcontracting process as well so system is going to check out this strategy variant so I'm going to check out net purchase order price as well here so this is external processing so for the overhead system is going to calculate the overheads using the costing sheet which we have already discussed in our product cost by order scenarios so similar type of costing variant will be calculated uh, prepared in the system okay come back so now first we are going to copy this but instead of ppc1 what we are going to do we are going to create copy the costing variant used for product cost by period so here we have the standard one this is used so here you can see that we this is assigned 19 is the product cost collector costing type is assigned so now I'm going to copy this product cost by period product cost by period scenario we are going to use this So I'm just copied, copying the standard one. So this is our costing variant created in the system. So 
this is how we are going to create the costing variant for the product cost by period scenario so in the next sessions we are going to create the order type as well so we will do all the production processes and use the back flushing as well so back flushing will be used to automatically post the consumption and good receipt so we will discuss back flushing in detail as well so thank you for watching this video